Hey, motherfuckers. How's everyone? The Gemini That's Music Group. great. Fluffy the Body here, the one you love to hate the most. Yes. I'm back. <laughs> I'm back with my own podcast, motherfuckers. Let me sip some wine because the bitch is thirsty. Anywho, as you can see, I'm all alone. Sorry, my phone flashed. You know, I got ADHD. Anywho, motherfuckers, what am I supposed to do? I feel weird talking about myself now. <laughs> it's like, now I got some topics for y'all. I got some topics for y'all. So, I don't know if y'all seen the viral post, where to go, of the girl that manipulated this dude into taking her and her kids to the carnival because she was broke. She's like, I'm broke and my kids really want to go. So I'm going to just tell this dude to take me because he like me. What's y'all take on that? Because me personally, the bitch is a bum. And she like covered the dude face up with the clown face. And I'm like, maybe it was him that actually posted the post and covered his face to let it know, be known secretly that she the clown. I feel like that's what really happened. I don't know. Because dude be doing stuff like that. I know y'all call it sassy, but I, I kind of like... If he did do that, I kind of respect him for doing some shit like that. Like, that that was some bum bitch shit, and I can't stand bitches like that. Like, that's why niggas don't want to do nothing. I'm sorry, I'm not supposed to be saying the N-word anymore. That's why men don't want to do anything for us anymore, because of bum bitches like that. Oh, I can't say niggas, but I can say bitches. Too shy. Any of my ways. That's not why we're here. We're here because... I was supposed to say that first. That's what I was supposed to say. That's what I was missing when I do. This what I need my. It's different. Excuse the new way of how I'm doing. Hey, motherfuckers. No, I don't excuse it. You know how I do. Anyway, moving forward. I got so many topics. I'm trying to figure out which one I was going to pick. I don't know which one I'm going to pick. Oh, all right, boom. So y'all know I'm in a movie, right? Right. I'm in two movies. I'm in Major Payback and I'm in The Guys. The Guys, we just started. That's why my hair pink because my character, her name is Tammy. That's all I'm telling y'all. And I got different wigs. So when you see me record again, I probably have a different wig on because I'm playing Tammy in a different day or whatever the case may be. So. My question to you guys is, how old is too old to be fighting? I'm 41 years old, and majority of my castmates are 30 and under. Between 21 to about 30, 35 years old. I'm the oldest out of all of the castmates. And they remind me of how old I am every fucking chance that they get, right? Right. Love them to death, majority of them. I love all of them. I love all of them to death, right? I look at them as little sisters, little brothers. But it was this one in particular castmate. I was about to beat her motherfucking ass. Mm -hmm. (laughs) She would talk shit to me and then expect for me never to say nothing. And I'm like, little girl, like, stop playing with me. She was like, I get my mom on you. No, don't talk shit to me. And then want to go get your mom because her, me and her mom is the same age. She would talk her shit, talk about what she would do to me, and then say she's going to get her mama on me. Girl, I would beat your mama ass, I'd beat your ass, and I'd beat your auntie ass. Please stop playing with me. Stop playing with me. I take shit from to zero to hell real quick. Real quick. I don't even know why people be playing with me like that. Like, y'all know, the ones that knew me growing up knew how I used to get down back in the day. I am mature now. I am older now. I don't want to fight anymore. You know why I don't want to fight no more? Because I don't like the way jail food tastes. And I'm a picky eater. The last time I went to jail for an assault charge, they tried to give me whole white milk. Disgusting. And then they tried to give me a peanut butter sandwich. No jelly. No jelly. Just peanut butter, bread, and milk. What the fuck? Absolutely not. I can't go to jail. Absolutely not. I, I just refuse. I'm, I'm not doing it. I, I just made me a chicken pot pie. How I'm going to do that in jail? How I'm going to do that in jail? I just made me these delicious 
chicken pot pies in my kitchen. How I'm going to do that in jail? I just made me some Mary Me chicken two weeks ago. How I'm going to do that in jail? Hmm. It ain't going to happen. It ain't going to work. Anyway, the fuck are you doing? Watch it. Watch her because she will piss in your bag. Oh, my God. Because she did it in mine. What is you doing, Liz? What is she? She's shaking and shit. I don't know what she just did in there. Uh, did she do it? No, nah, she didn't do it. She did do it. She pissed in there? Yeah. Told you. My bad. It's a territorial thing for her. She does that. I don't know why she does it, but she does it. She like... When something new is in here, she feels like though she has to yeah, put her. Yeah. I do not have to get more. Uh, what do I have? What do I have? I think I got like some sponges what? under the um. Put that in the sink. I'll clean it off for you. Liz, that was not nice. Not nice, Liz. I'm gonna tell your father. Ooh. Liz is not my cat. I do not like cats. For that reason. Because they do sneaky stuff like that, unfortunately. But I actually kind of like Liz. Me and Liz, be, we be talking. We be busting it up sometimes. Ain't that right, girl? Yeah. Yeah, I know. Normally she'll talk. Anyway. Motherfuckers, I done moved into a new place. I moved into a smaller space. This is my first time, me and my son was laughing when we moved in here, because this is my first time actually living in an, like an apartment building like this, like this setting. Like I've lived in an apartment building, but I've always had like, uh, what do they call it? Private entrance. I've always had my own private entrance because I, I always hated the smell of every apartment building I've ever went into. I don't know what it is about apartment buildings. I guess it's like what everybody be cooking and then you just walk in there and it's just whatever they be cooking, the shit just be stinking. I hate it. I, I love my apartment, but I hate walking through this building because it fucking stinks. I live, I think I have, uh, I ain't even going to say what kind of nationality neighbors I have because that's going to sound racist. So I don't want to say that. So, yeah, I'm going to continue moving on with how long do you want me to do these for? At least 15. Each? No, we keep going. Like 30 minutes or 15 break. 15. How many am I doing? You already almost at eight minutes. What are you doing? But how many am I doing? At least two. Oh, okay. I can, I so think you can I... add topics. To, you know what I mean? Yeah, because I'm definitely, like, flying through, like, well, not flying. I only did two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Only did two topics. It would have been, like, some of these other topics would have been better if, like, somebody was here to say something. Or tell them what this new podcast is all about. Yo, this is the intro pod. This is the intro pod. Maybe that's what I should have thought of first because I just was like, what the fuck am I supposed to be doing? Because, Yeah. So this is the intro pod. Is y'all already know it's gonna be some ghetto glitches and all types of shit going on in this motherfucker. And I gotta uh I gotta go shoot the movie later on today. So I'm thinking about that, trying to make sure I'm keeping up with the cast. Keeping up with the cast where they're at. I got my homegirl's location. And so yeah, this is the entry pod. This shit going to be completely different, but not too different. I'm still going to talk my shit. I'm still going to drink my liquor. What else I'm going to do? I'm going to try to have guests on as much as possible, but for the most part, probably not because of the way that my schedule works and the way that their schedule works. Um, it's probably going to be me, motherfuckers. Y'all just gonna probably have me for the most part. I hope y'all like me. I hope because y'all asked me to do this shit. Yup, I was I was out the game because you know, with the whole fluffy Leisha shit, 
If you ask me what happened, I'm going to tell you I don't know. Because I really don't fucking know. It was just like one day we just all stopped coming. No. Was it? No. Yeah. I don't know. So don't ask me. I don't know what happened to Fluffy Felicia, but it's not coming back. We're not doing Fluffy Felicia no more. No, it's no beef. Uh, I still talk to Leroy and he's doing great, by the way. Son is beautiful. Wife is beautiful. Everything is good with them. Shout out to my little bro. Shout out to Alicia. Uh, it's no beef. It's no animosity. Uh, we still see each other. Oh, well, I haven't seen Leroy since he had the baby. Yeah, I haven't seen Leroy. It's been a while since I've seen Leroy. But yeah, I'm going to talk about a lot of shit. I'm going to talk about some shit that y'all really don't want to probably talk about. I'm going to probably have the most uncomfortable conversations that y'all probably do not want to have whatsoever. And I'm probably not going to want to have them, but they needs to be had. They needs to be had because as a community, we need to figure out what the fuck is the core of our issue. Why is it so much beef with each other? I mean, great. look now. Doing something. And then she ran off like she knew. She knew. She trying to act like she ain't do it. You did it. I know you did it. Uh, what was I saying? The beef. We got beef? You said the beef. With the community. Oh, oh, oh yeah, our community. Our community. Thank you, Mandy. Thank you. Uh, what is she doing over there? She's scratching the floor. Um... The beef, we need to figure out the core. I see like every time, every time I see podcasts about relationships and stuff like that, I see multiple different types of podcasts within our community. And the first thing I see is a (laughs) under the comments, black people don't need a a podcast. They just give anybody podcast. Don't buy, give us a podcast. You go buy your own fucking equipment, set the fuck up, whatever the fuck you was set up at and start the shit and record and upload. And you just so happen to watch the motherfucker. Stop with the retarded ass fucking comments. Like y'all retarded. Like cut it out. Like if you're not adding to helping, then shut the fuck up. Like that's all that is. Like people be like, you know what post I used to see back in the, well not back in the day, probably about a year or so ago. It went viral multiple times. It stopped going viral. It said black people, man, woman, can we start over? So we've been trying to figure out how the fuck to start over so that we could come along and get together and do things better. Like we need to figure out a solution, whether you say, hey, I'm going to do this on my end. You say you're going to do this on your end. At the end of the day, we got to do something. How the song go from Michael? Uh, Take a look in the mirror. Yeah, take a look in the mirror, motherfucker. Like, just look at yourself and see what it is that needs to be done on your end to help better the community. Granted, other cultures do go through some bullshit. They just don't post it. I think because we funnier, honestly. I have seen other cultures, though, and I've watched their videos and their podcasts and stuff like that. And they are actually pretty fucking funny. And they are more in tune with spirituality than we are. It's like when we speak on spirituality, everybody comes to terms of that's not what you was taught in church and that's the devil. But let somebody that's Indian or some shit like that speak on spirituality. Now you want to listen because he Buddha or Buddhism or whatever their religion may be. You listen. But if a black person said that's the devil, please stop it. Stop. Just let your guard down. Let it hmm. Just cut it out. Like I'm just so sick and tired of us constantly, constantly. I don't know. My damn ADHD just went off the, the meter because I was supposed to be talking about introduction of Paige, get out of here. I was supposed to have been doing the introduction. I just ended up going in because y'all be like, but that's pretty much, I'm going to be talking about stuff like that. I'm going to be talking about credit repair. I'm going to be talking about ratchet shit. 
I'm going to be talking about love. I'm going to be talking about finances. I'm going to, I'm going to be talking about sex. I'm going to be talking about work. I'm going to be talking about businesses. I'm going to talk about LLCs. I'm going to talk about all this shit. I'm going, cause I be educating the fuck out of myself and on, t- Ooh, excuse me. On top of me educating myself, I talk to people like-minded. And then I talk to people that are above me. I talk to people that actually have it. You know how like they say, uh, if you hang around nine broke people, you bound to be the 10th one. Yeah, I like to hang with nine broke people. And I like to hang with about four successful people or vice versa, whatever. I'm just throwing numbers out there. Don't don't quote me on that. I know how the fuck y'all do. Just in general, I like to hang out with some broke people and I like to hang out with some motherfuckers that got money because I'm learning from both of them at the end of the day. I'm learning what I don't want to see and where I don't want to be and I'm learning where I do want to be and I can do it without fucking hating at the end of the day. And that's what a lot of you motherfuckers need to stop doing is hating. Just because you don't have it right now don't mean you'll never get it. But as long as you keep hating on the next motherfucker, you ain't never going to get it. But that's another topic for another day. Okay. Love you, motherfuckers. The Gemini Music Group.